What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a replay webinar in ClickFunnels. So let's jump straight in. Here I am in my main ClickFunnels dashboard. I am going to click on Add New. You can say Start Cookbook. It's going to give you some funnels you can select. It has different templates, uh, some of the different templates than what we have here. But I'll select Create New Funnel here just so I could guide you step by step. We're creating a webinar, so I'll select Host. I'm going to select Webinar Replay. It is harder to do than the live webinar. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on live webinar. But you should be able to do it after knowing how to do the webinar replay. So I'll select the name here, say Webinar Replay. Uh, these are the funnel steps that are involved, but there are two more that we have to add, and that is the order form and the order confirmation form. You want to be paid for your webinar, don't you? So we'll have to add those steps as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the template for all of my steps as well as add the two new ones. So I will select something basic. I'll select this one just for illustration purposes. I'm going to go down the list and select a template for everything else just so that when I show you how this works, everything is properly integrated right away. I'm going to select this one does not matter. I'm also not just pausing the video and doing this in my own free time, just so you can kind of stay with me as we do together, not, you know, having random interval periods of you not knowing how I did this or what I did, you know. Um, that way we're just together the whole time, the whole journey, even as the pages load. I find it more easier for me personally, so let me know if uh, you prefer me to, for example, cut stuff out. Um, there's that. Here's the webinar replay room. One more thing we have to do. So this webinar replay room is uh, for people that missed the webinar. It's going to be pretty much the same, but you'll have a different message there saying, hey, sorry, you missed your replay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, so like I said, I'll go through them in detail later on. Don't worry too much about it. I'll select order form. You can select the path. That's what's at the end of your URL. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about that uh, for illustration purposes. So here we're going to select the order form. I'm going to select here, go to order form. Let's select something that could apply to anyone, maybe this one. And last but not least, order form confirmation. So like I said, we're just kind of adding everything in here um, just to kind of build a skeleton and then we're gonna stuff it in with content and as I'll explain everything to you. So same thing here. Okay, let's select this one. Uh, and that's just the order form confirmation. Um, okay, so let's go through to the very first step. So the auto webinar registration. This is the page to which you send everyone to. If you want to promote your webinar, you send people here. It's the first step of the funnel. You know it, okay? So as you preview it, you see uh, you can enter the name, you can enter the email, you can select the date, and you can register the spot. Now let's go through some of these options here. First off, you can add more of these input forms. If I select Add New Element, and I scroll a bit down, well, I can move my face out for a second. Uh, you can see Input Form, you can add that, and you can select more stuff here. Uh, by going on right over there and you can select, you know, if you want more information from them, such as the city, the state, the country, their social insurance number, just kidding, you can add that here, okay? Uh, you can enter a custom type and you can enter what you want. Um, and then that will be kind of like uh, them writing something in as opposed to giving them options. Uh, but really all you need is in one of those options that were presented, like the city, the phone number, stuff like that. Uh, so you do that. Uh, some of the templates you may pick may not have these options here. So all you do is everything is right here. It's just this. The webinar date is this one and the webinar time is this one, right? So you can add that if your specific template doesn't have it and you're freaking out and saying, hey, where is it? Where is it? You can do that. So uh, let's go through the different options we have. There are three really for selecting the time. One is Picking a date and time. That is this option here. That is the default. People pick a date and time. Um, they come here. They say, hey, I want to watch it right now. Okay. Uh, and they'll be taken to your webinar right now. They'll skip the confirmation page. Or you can select it on a time. Let's say Friday the 11th at uh, January at uh, 2 p.m. 
I'll enter my email, you know, ASDF, and here it is, 2 p.m. EST. This is my time. Don't get confused thinking that, hey, these are all the options. These are just, it's the same time, different time zones. I'm in EST, so it's 2 p.m. for me. Here's your confirmation. You can add it to a calendar. Pretty cool. You click on one of those buttons and you can import that calendar status into your actual calendar. Um, so there's that. Congratulations, you're booked. Okay, that's the select the date and time option. Now, um, if I click on, let me just show you today's webinar now, and I go next, I will skip that page and I will go immediately to the webinar. Issue with this is if you have an upsell on that other page, on the thank you confirmation page, if you have an upsell on it, such as here, if I go to Friday, um, if I have an upsell on this page, well, people aren't going to see it, okay? Um, or if uh, if I have a pixel here or something like that, the pixel won't fire for people that just signed up, right? They will go straight to that page. And yes, you can have a pixel on that page. Uh, but if you want to see a pixel for all the people that booked specifically, you it, it, it won't fire even though they did sign up. So not a big deal, but um, just something to consider. So that's one option that we have is the, the people selecting date and time. Now with ClickFunnels marketing, you may have seen some of their pages for funnel hacks, which say, hey, next webinar starting in 10 minutes, next webinar starting in 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And it does that day in, day out. You can do that as well. So what you would do is you would delete these because you don't need them. Now it's no longer selecting a date and time. And we're going to add a timer. It used to be that you needed to add a code for these timer, not anymore. So I'm going to enter this countdown and actually countdown should probably be. So let me move that up here. So uh, you can select how you want to do this. So there's two options, pretty similar, either top of every hour. So the next hour, so let me just show you what it's like. I guess uh, it's, 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 it's the easiest to just do that. I'll click preview. So it's 110 right now EST. So the next webinar will be at two o'clock. So when they click next, uh, there's the confirmation and there it is two o'clock is the next webinar. So you're kind of forcing them to go on this page. You can do that or you can make it every X number of minutes. So you can make it go every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, every half hour, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If I click save, it's 111, so at 120 should be when the next webinar will be at. So it goes in increments, not from the time you're doing this. So I said 10 minutes, it's 111 right now. That does not mean the next webinar will be at 121. It's 10 minutes from the start of every hour. So 110, 120, 130, 140, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Here it is, eight minutes. I click register, and here it is, confirmation that it will be at 120. When 120 comes, you should either see a button or be immediately redirected to that uh, webinar page. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think I mentioned everything. If you have an autoresponder integrated here, uh, if not, use Actionetics. If you are using a webinar with ClickFunnels, I would probably recommend that you, um, if you're creating a webinar, I'd probably recommend that you use Actionetics just because of the options that they have there. I will go over that later, uh, some of the options they have for sending out emails. So that is pretty much it. There's really nothing to update on this page. Everything is done automatically. Uh, you used to have to also need to add the code here if you were using that timer on this page. Not anymore. Um, the dates are confirmed here. And yeah, so you can just do, you know, basic editing here. Unfortunately, I don't think you can remove um, these different times, but uh, the times that you select on your on the page here, when you select the date and time are specified to your time zone. So if you're in Eastern time, it will show one o'clock of Eastern time. Uh, if you want for convenience, you could also add the little local time thing here. So it says your local time, you know, for someone that, uh, wants to know what their exact low, like time is right now in comparison with that in case they're confused and thinking oh well it's eastern time oh well maybe it's pacific time or you know that just makes it a bit more clear for them so here says my local time is 113 and next webinar is at 120 okay so something like that you can do um so that's pretty much it for that last but not least let's cover the broadcast room for the replay room it's pretty straightforward um it's the same thing as a broadcast room but just um, say that, hey, sorry, you missed your uh, replay. Here it is again, stuff like that. And you send people there. 
but we're going to enter our broadcast room. And over here, there are a few things to mention. So uh, one is, of course, enter your uh, URL to your um, video here, or you know, if you're using Vimeo or Wistia or whatever, just integrate that, set that up. Uh, you just need the video URL of Vimeo if you're, you're using Wistia, Wistia URL, stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. Um, you can make uh, the product show up a little bit after uh, the people actually watch the webinar. So, for example, if I don't want people to see this right away, oops, okay, so I selected my webinar to start at 120, so I'll need to. Let me just go back and make the webinar show immediately right away. But now when I preview, I should see that webinar because of what I selected, okay? So here it is, my product has shown up immediately. If you don't want that, what you can do is click on the section, click on advanced, click on animation, time delay, and enter the, the delay in time you want the product to show up. So for illustration purposes, I'll say, you know, I'll say five seconds, okay? For you, obviously, if your webinar is an hour long, maybe you don't want the offer to show up until 30 minutes in. So I'll click Save, and now as you can see, as I preview, there's no offer. There's nothing because people are forced to watch this, but five seconds in, it shows up, okay? Uh, now, if you don't want the whole offer to be like that, you just want a button, you can select that, and you can make the same thing on a button. So animation, fade in, uh, make, make make a button, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. Um, and now that we made the button 20 seconds in, the button itself will not show up until it's actually 20 seconds in, even though the section will show up five seconds in, as we said. So give it a little bit, there you go, but there's no button, okay? And the button will show up 20 seconds in. You get the point. Now, there is a little button here under webinar settings. It says show offer. This show offer is not will not automatically show your offer. So if I make this to, you know, 10 seconds, and I change this to just no animation at all, the offer will still not show after 10 seconds. That's not what that what the purpose of that is. So the offer shows up right away. The purpose of this setting here, the show offer in, is for email purposes. Because for someone that, for instance, watched your webinar for 10 seconds plus in this case we said 10 seconds that is considered as people seeing the offer if people stay on your webinar less than 10 seconds that's considered them not seeing your offer so let me show you what i mean by that if i go to exit and i go to automation you can send people these emails people like everyone that signed up you can send it to people that missed the webinar meaning people that signed up but did not see your webinar. You can send it to people that attended but missed the offer. These are the people, in our case, we said 10 seconds, people that clicked on the webinar but stayed there less than 10 seconds. These are the people whom you will be sending that email to. You have the saw offer but didn't purchase. These are the people that stayed 10 seconds or longer that saw the offer but didn't purchase it. And then these are the people that purchased. And all you have to do is click on add new email and enter all these details and select that right now I'm assuming you already set up a send grid integration I have that in one of my other videos I'll put the link uh, above right here somewhere it's gonna be a little card uh, but obviously I can't uh, make a video on every little small part the video will be two hours long uh, so uh, just check that video out learn how to integrate it and you should be able to use action edits to send an email out also on the button make sure you're sending people to this order form page so I'm going to mm, take that Go to the webinar broadcast room, select edit page, and just make sure on the button you are taking people to that order form page. Um, yeah, because you want people to buy, right? And I'll delete that space at the end, and I'll click save. So you're pretty much good to go. That is it. That is how you make a webinar. Uh, you have all those emails there. Um, <clears throat> for the auto webinar registration just a quick thing when you go to automation you have some emails kind of pre-done for you you may see this it says minus one hour minus one day that means a day before the webinar is live this means one hour before the webinar is live etc etc you can change that if you want this to be for example 30 minutes you would make it minus 0 0.5 right which is half of one which is 0.5 and half of an hour is 30 minutes so 0.5 basic right just math just um, basic math stuff you can do you can use a calculator or whatever but uh, if you want to be really specific 
that's what that means. This is one day after the webinar, one day, you know, after the webinar, stuff like that. They'll see these if they missed it, if they attended, or if they saw it in purchase, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm also assuming that you integrated the payment, of course, um, <clears throat> the order form that when people buy, they actually send the money into your account and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it. Uh, that is all you have to know about creating your replay webinar. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be happy to help. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, et cetera, et cetera, you name it. Uh, it helps me know whether I'm going in the right direction or not to help you out. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.